Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Multitude of sins. And so, Bethany, come on up here. You thought I forgot about that? I don't think so. (laughs) Okay, so you know what sins are, right? You ever read the Bible? You know some things that are wrong? Think about a way that you've been sinned against recently. Sinned against. And I want you to come up here and write that sin on this board, okay? Or just come up with one. I'm sorry, you look bewildered. Or is it that they're here and they're going to know who it was? I'm just... Yeah, it's a Sharpie. Huh? Sure, write it big. Okay, so she's been lied to, is what she wrote. Okay, sin. Is sin something we can deal with on our own? But say that person felt really, really bad that they lied to you. Okay, say they they tried to take care of that. Maybe you just need to press into that relationship, push harder. Is it going away? But what if you really like that person and you just, you forgive them? You you just choose you forgave them. That's your eraser. Does it go away? No. What can wash away our sin? (laughs) What can make us whole again? (laughs) What can wash away other people's sins toward us? Love covers a multitude of sins. There is nothing that we can do on our own. (laughs) There's nothing we can do to get rid of this on our own. But the blood of Jesus, the love of God, covers a multitude of sin, right? Now, does the love of God excuse it away and say, you know what? You know, it's just a little white lie. It's not that big of a deal. You just need to let it go. Stop being so hard on that person. No, God, when he covers our sin, he covers it when we call it out, when we confess our sin. Sometimes he draws it out. God's like, you know what? You were lied to, right? And it was hurt, and it was painful, and it was wrong, right? We're supposed to be honest to each other. Now, I know you in the back couldn't see that at first. What happens when God starts to cover our sin? Are you starting to see it now? See, sometimes I think we are not so quick to go to God because we don't realize the depth of our sin, right? Bethany was lied to in a relationship. It was a sin, and God said it was wrong. He calls it out. He calls it what it is. Love rejoices in truth. You don't shove it under the rug. That's not loving people, right? You confront it. You deal with it. But when the love of God, when the blood of Christ is applied to it, then all of a sudden, same thing. What can wash away our sin? Though our sin was as red as scarlet, it is now as... White as snow. God gave us these really stupid, simple (laughs) tools to show sin is permanent. The penalty of sin is death. But you don't have to die in your sin. Jesus paid the price. He died so that you might live. And he didn't just die so that you can be forgiven and set free. He died so that the sins that are sinned against you can also be covered by the blood so that you can be healed and restored. Now, did that person do anything to make that right? Did they even apologize to you? Did they even know they did it? Yeah. But yet, when you take it to God, it has nothing to do with that other person. It can be forgiven, washed clean. It has no hold on you anymore. The penalty of sin is death, but where, O death, is your sting? 
It's been covered by the blood of Jesus. You can walk in life a free person, free to love even your enemies through the blood of Christ.